Hey guys, welcome to Algebra Level 2 Skills Videos. In this session, we're going to be looking at powers of powers. Sounds awesome. Okay, so what we're going to be looking at is a couple of types of questions. Uh, the first one is this. Now, you might remember doing this from Level 1. So basically, for this type of question, I'm going to show you guys the long way and the shortcut way. So it kind of starts uh, triggering some memories. So the first one is this. So we got x to the power of 6 to the power of 3. So we can rewrite this as x to the power of 6 times x to the power of 6 times x to the power of 6. And we know that this could be written as x to the power of 18. Or the other way of doing this would be as simple as x to the power of 6 times 3, which means we get 6 to the x to the power of 18. Another example is when we have this. And the classic mistake people do here is they actually write the answer in this case as uh, 6x to the power of 18. All right, now if you had actually written 6x to the power of 18, then you're incorrect. Because have a look. What we have is we've got 2 to the power, 2 times x to the power of 6 to the power of 3. So we're really doing this about three times now. And as you can see, it's taking a while to do this. But if you have a look at it, 2 times 2 times 2 is actually 8, and then it becomes x to the power of 18. Now, the quicker way of doing this would, of course, be writing this as 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by x to the power of 6 times 3. Now, you might be wondering, why am I doing 2 to the power of 3? That's because, remember, 2 has a power of 1, and then 1 times 3 is actually equal to 3. So simplifying this, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, and then x times x to the power of 6 times 3 is 18. So we get x, 8x to the power of 18. Now you can leave your answer as in the base 2, so you can actually leave your answer as 2 to the power of 3, but depending on the question really. Okay, so let's have a look at a couple of other examples. So what about this one here? Now obviously I don't want to be writing this out you know, like to, if it's to the power of 2, I don't want to write it out twice. I just need to do it in a quicker way. So here I'm going to have a look at 3. Now 3 is to the power of 1. So that means uh, I've got 1 times 2 would become 3 to the power of 2. Then x to the power of 6 times 2 is x to the power of 12. And then y squared times 2 would become y to the power of 4. And then z has a power of 1. So 1 times 2 is z squared. So that's what my answer is. Simplifying this, I get uh, 9x, 9x to the power of 12, y to the power of 4, and z squared. Okay, let's have a look at one more example. Now I've got 5a cubed b squared to the power of 8. Now, without a calculator, 5 to the power of 8 is going to take me a long time to do. So what I'm going to do is, I mean, I'm going to just leave the answer with the base 5. Because 5 is being raised to the power of 1, which means 5 to the power of 1 times 8 is 5 to the power of 8. Then 3 times 8 is 24, so A is going to be to the power of 24. And then we've got B, 2 times 8 is actually 16. And then this is going to be my final answer. Okay, hopefully this thing's coming back to you guys from level 1, because now we start looking at uh, some different types of questions that could potentially be asking at level two. But you might also have done it at level one. Never know. This is a good little level mix of questions here. So, so the next question is this one here. Write four to the power of three as a power of two. And this is where you, you kind of start need to think a little bit differently, all right? So what I'm saying is this. I'm going to have four cubed here. But what do I know about four in terms of powers of two? I know that four could be written as 2 squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the 4 with a 2 squared. And because 4 is being raised to the power of 3 like this, I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 3, which means simplifying this, or sorry, not simplifying, expanding it, I'm going to get 2 to the power of 6. So in other words, I can actually say 4 to the power of 3 equals 2 to the power of 6. All right, so let's have a look at another example. 16 squared as a power of 2. So what we have is we've got 16 squared. So the first thing I want to be doing is I want to write 16 in terms of with a, with a base 2. So I know that 2 to the power of 4 equals to 16 because 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. 
Well, look at this. 2 times 2, 4. Times another 2, 8. Times another 2, 16. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace 16 with 2 to the power of 4. And now that's, of course, being raised to the power of 2 because that's what we're doing with 16 squared. Expanding this, we're going to get 2 to the power of 4 times 2, which equals to 8. So what we finally have is, so we can say that 2 to the power of 8 is actually 16 squared. Okay, it's really important this concept because uh, later on in algebra, uh, with some of those trickier questions, you will have to manipulate uh, algebraic terms like this. And I'll show you guys an example, all right? So what happens when we get something like this, right? X to the power of 8 as a power of X squared. So what we're really looking for is, imagine this. So you've got X to the power of 8 equals X to the power of 2 to the power of what? And I guess what we're trying to do is kind of work backwards. So we can see that the question mark in this case is actually going to equal 4 because 4 times 2 would actually would give us 8. So in fact, what I could write is then x to the power of 8 is actually x to the power of 2 to the power of 4. Now this is going to come very handy for you guys uh, later on. One more question. Write y to the power of 7 as a power of y squared. So then what we, yeah, what we have is y to the power of 7 equals y squared to the power of something. So my question is, what number multiplied by 2 equals to 7? Well, we know that's 3.5. So I'm going to rewrite this as, so because I know that 3.5 here multiplied by 2 equals 7. So then I could actually have y to the power of 7 equals y squared to the power of 3.5 or 7 over 2. Either way, what we end up with with the same answer. All right, guys, that's basically it for this session. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.